Good morning, good morning, good morning to you. Good morning, good morning, good morning to you. Our day is beginning, there's so much to do. Good morning, good morning, good morning to you. Good morning, everybody. Happy Wednesday. Hopefully you all are having a really great morning so far. I know I am. My kids are all still asleep. So I thought this would be the perfect time to come and jump on and just say good morning. Um, and just to kind of go through a couple of things, since we're not getting to be together, I thought it'd be fun for us to just have like a small little morning meeting this morning. So Hopefully you remember before we got out for spring break what month we were in, but we were in the month of, hold on, I wrote it down, so you can remember, the month of March. See if you can say the letters with me, ready? The first letter is M-A-R-C-H, and remember that C-H together makes that ch sound like a choo-choo train. So we're in the month of March. We're still in the month of March, um, and I feel like we've already had a lot of stuff this month. We've had our kite flying field trip. We've had spring break. And now we're having some time at home in the month of March also, which is kind of weird, but we're making the best of it. So in March, does anybody remember we had some birthdays in March? And I don't want to forget about those friends who have those March birthdays. So, our March birthdays are Emma Scott. She turned six. Happy birthday, Emma Scott. I know she got to go to Disney World for her birthday. I'm really glad she got to celebrate. And then Cash has a birthday in March. And I'm sure Cash is going to place a bunch of Legos over the break, and he turned six also. So happy birthday to Cash in the month of March. And then also our friend Caleb is gonna turn six also. And I'm sure he's probably using that big imagination of his to come up with all kinds of things outside. Um, I know he likes to play outside. So happy birthday, buddy. I sure miss getting to see you guys, and I wish we were together so that we could sing happy birthday birthday to all of you and we could give you your crown and your wand but I'm hopeful that when we get together soon that we will be able to do that so but I didn't want you to think that we forgot our sweet March birthdays so happy birthday to all three of you for the month of March also, I just remembered we did our kite flying field trip on the last day before we were out and it was super fun. I hate that it was a little bit wet on the field but that that's all right. We made the best of it. But I thought it'd be a really good idea for us. Um, also, if you have some just white paper at home, maybe you have your mom has, like I do, I keep up with, I already gift um, bags, like happy birthday bags, Christmas bags. I keep all of that in like my little gifting area. And I keep tissue paper and string and ribbon and all of that. And so maybe if your mom has some tissue paper, you might could do something like this. But I thought it'd be fun if while you're at home, if you wanted to get somebody to draw you a kite, super easy. All I did was I just drew kind of like a diamond, a little bit smaller at the top, and then went down at an angle. You can make yours bigger. And then I just do a little string with some little um, bows on the end. And then if you have some tissue paper and some glue, you can rip up small pieces of tissue paper and glue it on to make your kite really colorful. I thought that would be something really easy and super fun that you could do that went along with our kite flying field trip. Um, if you don't have tissue paper, you can just color it or if you have stickers or anything like that, markers, paint, it doesn't matter, however you want to do it, but I thought that'd be kind of fun. Also, before we got out, we had learned that fun five little monkeys swinging from a tree poem, so I thought we could do that this morning together. So everybody get out your five fingers and we'll do it together. You ready? Five little monkeys swinging from a tree. 
teasing Mr. Alligator, can't catch me. Along comes Mr. Alligator, quiet as can be. And he snaps that monkey right out of the tree. All right, so there were five and one came out. So how many are left now? Four. Are you ready? Four little monkeys swinging from a tree. Teasing Mr. Alligator, can't catch me. Along comes Mr. Alligator, quiet as can be. And he snaps that monkey right out of the tree. All right, there were four, and now one went away. So how many are left? Three. Three little monkeys swinging from a tree. Teasing Mr. Alligator, can't catch me. Along comes Mr. Alligator, quiet as can be. And he snaps that monkey right out of the tree. All right, so we had three, and one went away. So how many are left? Two. Two little monkeys swinging from a tree. Teasing Mr. Alligator, can't catch me. Along comes Mr. Alligator, quiet as can be. And he snaps that monkey right out of the tree. All right, how many are left now? One. One little monkey swinging from a tree. Teasing Mr. Alligator, can't catch me. Along comes Mr. Alligator, quiet as can be. And he snaps that monkey right out of the tree. How many are left? Zero. None of them are left. That monkey, they all got eaten by that, by that alligator. That's so silly, isn't it? And lastly, I thought we could finish with our truth that we had been learning before we got out um, for spring break. So I'll, remem I'll remind you um, what it was. And it's with God's help we can have a positive attitude. So we'll do it again. Do y'all hear that garbage truck out there? It's pretty loud. Hopefully you can hear me over it. So we'll do it again. Ready? With God's help, I can have a positive attitude. And remember, God wants us to always have a positive attitude, no matter what. Whatever's going on at home or at school or with your friends, he wants us to always have a positive attitude about that. So remember, with God in your heart, you can always have a positive attitude about stuff. All right, I hope you guys have a really great Wednesday. And again, it's another beautiful day, so hopefully you'll get some time outside to play. Um, and just to enjoy being together. But we miss you guys so much, Miss Carlson and I do. And we hope to see you really soon. Y'all have a great one.